How hard was it, you know, for you to make that decision to say, I'm going to drop baseball and focus fully on basketball and take this to the next level? It was, it was a very difficult conversation. My dad and I were going over about a month and a half. We were talking about it. Um, and, you know, I have had a certain love for baseball since I was real little. Um, I was a pitcher, pitcher only, so I was PO, that's, you know, mm -hmm. what they call um, so, you know, that was my job. That was my one job to pitch, and I loved it. It was a lot of fun. I enjoyed doing it. Um, but there was that certain itch for basketball that I had, and I was like, I just can't let this go away. Yeah. And, you know, ever since I made that transition, I haven't looked back. I've enjoyed every second of mm -hmm. waking up super early, going to bed late at night, working at basketball, working on homework, and just trying to pursue my dream. Well, you got the height, you got the skill. So when when did the, those things start to come into play? When did you start to really get really good at shooting the basketball, handling it? And when did the growth spurt happen? Okay, I'll start with the growth spurt. Yeah. The growth spurt, when I came into sixth grade, I don't know, I, what height was I? I'd say I was about, I don't know. I, I can't remember, I can't put it out of my head what height I was, but I grew three inches sixth grade year, three inches seventh grade year, eight inch, or three inches, yep. um, uh, eighth grade year so mm -hmm. nine inches in three years mm -hmm. that was a lot of pain a lot of like <laughs> awkwardness I'd run like a baby giraffe I'd just kind of look goofy so you know um, that's when the growth spurt really hit yep. and um, so that's nine inches so I was I'd say five nine five ten or something in fifth grade and then I left eighth grade being about six five borderline six six so um, that's when it really hit, and I was mm -hmm. sorry. I got really tall, so I that was an advantage for not only basketball but baseball as well. But basketball has been something my dad and I, you know, we always would work on as well as baseball, and he always would have me shoot because my dad's six one, my mom's about five seven. Mm -hmm. We have no idea where I got this tall from, but you know, God blessed me with this height, so I'm going to take advantage of it. So my dad and I would shoot. You know, we'd get up about 500 shots every day, about from sixth grade to eighth grade he would come with me and we would go to my middle school which is right across the street mm -hmm. in the morning before I'd go to classes um, and we'd shoot in the morning and then freshman sophomore junior and now senior year mm -hmm. I kind of do that more the morning workouts and stuff on my own um, and you know every day I'm getting up five five to eight hundred shots I'd say um, just consistently working on my craft, consistently trying to better myself to help a winning Kansas mm -hmm. State team. So then, okay, let's talk about Kansas State and what, what they like about you specifically. What did Coach Lowry initially say he liked about you? Well, as I'm sure everyone knows in Manhattan, Kansas, and Kansas in general, Dean Wade yep. is, you know, one heck of a player to come through that organization. And, you know, that's one of the first names we talked about on the first couple phone calls is he's like, Go watch Dean, go watch highlights, and mm -hmm. you'll see exactly why we're ecstatic about you. Yep. I was like, okay, you know, I go watch the highlights, and I'm like, yeah, this is the guy that I would like to model my game after mm -hmm. um, and try to, you know, push myself to be as good as he was when he came through the organization, or even better, hopefully one day. Um, he's doing pretty well now in the pros. On yep. the Cavaliers, you know, you see the tweets and everything. He's, he's got a double-double for the yeah, first time. Exactly. Yep. So, you know, he's step by step he's gradually going up on the pedestal which is mm -hmm. awesome so you know they saw a lot of they saw they saw from what coach Lowry said the ability for me to kind of do a little bit of everything can shoot can play the post can pass can dribble and play defense you know it's a little bit of everything from what I would have been told mm -hmm. um, and that's kind of what my game is to a degree you know I can do everything um, to a certain yeah. degree pretty well and I think that's going to help a lot in the long run so obviously rivals you know has you put at a center but you know it seems like yeah i know it seems like <laughs> k-state and what you're you'd be at the next level is more of like a stretch for yeah. yeah what do you think about that yeah i mean you know all the all the different recruiting but all the different websites and everything they all say center or whatever because mm -hmm. they see the height they see 610 and they're like oh he's a center and it's like no no i mean stretch yeah. four get out and transition pick roll pick pop shoot mm -hmm. um it's all those type of things it's never i've never been one who's 
gonna hold myself in a little box where I sit down mm -hmm. low and try to just score. I mean, there's a lot more to my game and there's a lot more that I'm going to work on yep. in the upcoming years. Do you think you could play uh, the five if you needed to um, in certain situations or do you see? Yes, Yeah. yes, I certainly, you know, Big 12 is one of, if not the, it's arguably one of the best conferences mm -hmm. in the nation, obviously top conference in the nation. Yep. So, you know, with that, that comes with a certain level of um, playing ability. Mm -hmm. So I think the guys there in the Big 12 are, everyone's extremely talented, but I think I'll be able to go in there and hold my own and play a good five, four, and hopefully three. Yeah. What's an uh, underrated skill of yours that people don't talk about enough? My passing. Yeah. I'm going to be completely honest. You know, I, I love, you know, Kevin Durant is mm -hmm. an awesome guy to watch, obviously. Yep. One of the greatest of all time. Kevin Love um, and Larry Bird. Old school. You mm -hmm. know, that's, you know, Pete Maravich. Those guys, you know, great passing. Um, and that's something that I've always... I don't know how to put it exactly. It's not something that you necessarily are sitting there throwing a ball against yeah. the wall trying to do. It's something more of an instinct to have it. And really it's, you know, your vision on the court and your ability to get the ball out of your hands fast. Mm -hmm. It's something that a lot of, I feel a lot of people don't always talk about, but it's something that I really pride myself on. Yeah. Yeah, look, catch something down here. Uh-huh. Turn around. Like, oh shit, I'm stuck. Being able to toss something up, go in the lane, drop a dime to Davion. Uh-huh. It's gonna be a lot of fun. You know, and the new coming guys and everything. It's going to be an enjoyable time. So what's your, oh yeah, turn around. Splat. Then what do you want to work on um, before you get to Manhattan? Which is, I mean, well, I shouldn't even say before you get to Manhattan because you're going to be there in like a less three than weeks. a month. Yeah, three so weeks. I, the countdown is on. That is really exciting stuff. So we'll get to that in a second more. But yeah, I mean, once you get there, you know, on June 5th, you said is when it's yep. supposed to be. Uh, what do you hope to get right into and... Uh, improve on before you know your freshman season begins you know obviously right when I get there I want to how shall I say it's establish myself in the program establish mm -hmm. the relationship with my teammates the connection um, and just get to work right away in the weight room with um, Ben the uh, trainer there that I've talked with awesome guy and on the court too, you know, getting the ball down low, being able to be really strong with it and not have to worry about going up and say, you know, if a guy grabs me or whatever, not worrying about getting yanked down, mm -hmm. being able to go through the contact and finishing. And really off of, you know, Nigel, Mike, Max, any of the guards we have on our team, uh, Marquise, coming down and they want to set it, they want to pick and roll. I want to be able to do whatever these guys mm -hmm. want off it. I want to be able to read any type of defense, pick, pop, hit a shot so they trust me to hit a shot, pick, pop, roll, go mm -hmm. to the hoop, or toss it up to our big guys. Other, now, other big yeah, guys, yeah. I should say, because we got some fo seven-footers on the team. Uh -huh. So, you know, it'll be the first time I'm playing and I'm not, you know, over here looking over guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, Davion Bradford, you seven-footer, I mean, how exciting is it to play with, you know, another big man that's, I mean, he's going to be dominating that paint. Oh, my gosh. I mean, I've, for as long as I can remember, I mean, other than this, past AU year I've always been the biggest guy on the court yeah. um, always the most looked at to a point because I've always been the tallest guy you know to have another guy have multiple other guys out there that are you know seven feet tall and mm -hmm. say you know if I get the ball on one side I'm sitting there I drive I'm stuck I can toss it up to him he can mm -hmm. go finish with a dunk you know that's going to be a lot of fun to play with you yep. know there's multiple options to that and I can just see it being very successful and then I mean how ready are you going to be as a freshman coming in I mean how I mean, sometimes, you know, you never know what can happen. Injuries could get you thrown in there right away, or, you know, you could be having to learn behind a lot of guys, trying to find your way. What do you have to take to I mean, all that? You know, I knew this question was going to be asked, and I, had to, <laughs> I, got to, I thought about it a little bit, because yeah. every single, you know, every single guy that goes into a new program, whether it's Division three or Division one, all divisions are very mm -hmm. talented regardless. Yep. But... You know, going into any team that you're going to play with, your thought process should be, I want to go in there, I want to play right away, I want to start, and I want to make a very big impact for our team, mm -hmm. not just myself. Yep. I mean, that's the biggest thing I want to be able to do going in. That's my thought, and that's my goal. Do I know what's going to happen? No. You know, God's got a plan for me. He knows what's going to happen. He's going to put me in the right direction. Mm -hmm. If I can go there right away and play right away, awesome. I'm going to do whatever I can to help us win. 
If I gotta learn a little bit, take baby steps to get to the point where I can go in and play, then that's what it's gonna be. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever needs to be to help us win and be successful, that's what I'm ready to do and I'm excited to do. What's your favorite, uh, what's your favorite thing to do coming down the court? If I, can get, if I can get some momentum going, get down the court. As you got it. Put some in the rim. Uh-huh. Stare down to the crowd. <laughs> Something to get get everyone going. Get them out of their seats.